we are going through SharePoint on-premise uh, early file consumption, file storage, SharePoint configuration. So for that, we should open the uh, we should the prerequisite is SharePoint should be installed on-premise with proper license and all. So and then we should go to this uh, SharePoint Central Administration. Before that, to make this, we should have user access control (UAC). We can call it. So this has to be low. The required settings for this case, because uh, to create a new site, many application requires, uh, many server requires a configuration. This has to be down. If it is up, it will not allow you to create the new certificate. Okay. Yeah. This is first point. And then, uh, yeah, this is first thing. And then I'm just going to SharePoint. Here you should make it running through Run as Administrator. Otherwise, you will not get main functionality. Yeah. And here the main concept is how the SharePoint works is uh, just to make it clarity. So SharePoint is mainly SharePoint wherever on premise uh, we are so it will be installed in the system level under which we will have web applications web application one Sorry. two three kind of so here the configuration is depends upon the requirement of customer so under each web application for example we have one sharepoint under which we have one type of data then we can go with one type of web application so this web application is the main url uh, under which we will be having sites site one dot uh, one uh, one one for example uh, site one two the reason i'm prefixing is uh, because web application one is the one prefix one three like this so in our uh, adlib system for example currently we are trying to give the sharepoint url uh, of the application i'll just show you okay sorry here in sharepoint uh, in our application, uh, we are having a repository under which we, are, we will make a site URL. So this is mainly site URL, it talks. So SharePoint site means we should give up to the site URL. Uh, addition to this, we will store the input location from where the files are fetching and all. I'll just come to that. Before that, um, just a moment, I'll switch back to the configuration view. Yeah. Here is the place. So for that, you can go under this manage web applications. And here this few, uh, what we call uh, warnings used to come. We should, if it's required, we should resolve it. Yeah. Here, whatever the sites we create, we will get it here. Now coming to this. Uh, yeah, we are going to create new web application. So we should name it whatever we need. Just a moment. So here the new site, uh, it opens new web application site, what type of it is. You can create the name, SharePoint site name. For example, uh, I'll just make it like, uh, uh, you can prefix whatever. Let me give it like SP site one, for example. Uh, and don't change this port. If you are sure of what is the port available, then only assign it, otherwise, by default, whatever it assigns, that will be the best. You can use the existing IIS website, but it's better. since we are going with the scratch level, we should go with this. And uh, we are trying to make here with minimum security. So for that, we should go with SSL certificate. Use new uh, uh, use security software, secure socket layer. So the requirement for this additional requirement is whenever we are saying this, we should attach the certificate, SSL certificate that I'll show in the later moment. Yeah, this should be enabled and here uh, currently our application is working with windows authentication mode of ntl not 
uh, should Kerberos. And basic authentication, if we enable this, the security will be reduced. So it will be like in the plain format. Otherwise, if my as a username is something like user1 and password is xyz uh, it will be in secure mode it will be transferred but if you go with this it will be it will be expectation will be like sending and receiving both will be in the plain format uh, so we need to avoid that uh, yeah that is the basic thing and default sign in page if we have something else custom we can do that but otherwise we are going with this yeah. and url for this is this is the one it comes and we are not, not supposed to change this name or port if you are going to change this it leads to confusions we have to address it in a different way otherwise this is the best way uh, and uh, in and uh, this is the one sp site one i am giving so ias website this will be created in a ias as a one website in the meanwhile i'll just open ias it takes some time to open and then yeah whatever the sites we create each and every site will come here the main central administration where everything main execution happens here only and with this as i was showing you here uh, this one web application we can add one central admin app you can say this uses one web services that is this one sharepoint web service it's a shared one it's across the all so these two we should not touch whatever we create in the beginning we, we should be cautious if we are touching it it should be very cautious otherwise don't alter anything and additional things whatever sites we add all those things comes here okay this is the main page and uh, let me come back to here and here uh, application pool name what i want me to give sp site one pool so this will come under sorry here pools application pools if i wanted to make something name whatever then we can take it up uh yeah windows authentication mode if i am going with sql authentication mode then it differs but currently our application is mostly coded with windows authentication so that is a recommendation uh, you can see here we are doing that and then yeah uh, enable customers uh, this uh, customer experience improvement program this is mostly not necessary for us right now as we are an on premise uh, yeah these are the common things i'm just saying okay it takes him a while web application creation is not enough because it always requires a site to browse otherwise i will just show you the url if we are just browsing the url it's of no use so wherever we are configuring we should be cautious we should be using always with as i was showing you here also we are recommending only site url it's called you can say absolute url whatever we can so here up to here uh, one port some web application and under which sites like this i'll just show you the back it takes a moment it takes usually uh, one minute kind of yes uh yeah it comes up to this page so the summary is simple as i was telling uh, it creates ias everything if we are uh, we should make this fresh okay otherwise it is not complete as i was telling i'll just refresh it uh, which one we created yeah sp site one this is the one we created and application pool is something is here yeah and this is the one we created with http yes if we are trying to browse now it is not enough because it expects a certificate you can see right now no certificate is assigned so let me press ok we can do easy option is uh, if i press ok yeah let me press it came here https 49128 this is about this particular web application if i'm trying to browse here it comes it says it is not available the reason for that there are two reasons one is we can't browse with this but the main problem here right now is because it's it expects a certificate let me create uh, we should have a proper certificate in the real time but to make it uh, for time being as a development purpose I will just I'll be just using the local created certificate using some commands. 
so to create the certificate we are creating like this using open ssl some certificates so there are many ways we can create the local certificates so currently i am using uh, this particular url so here we have to download this certificate one moment uh, sorry not download we are creating it locally using uh, this particular tool uh, this slv vro app so here we can download this particular tool i already downloaded right now i already downloaded that it's here I downloaded and installed it will be created like this open ssl win 64 bin so it will be this is the file and these are the one i already created using the same commands these commands i used uh, just to make it clarity so here the first we are just creating it creates a pem file and then we are creating the certificate it's a two-step activity but usually it's it is not required for the real time this is only for development purpose okay here i just did this is one and I again replaced all the one with two that's it so with that i created these two certificates and we have to be sure this certificate should be in only one place because these are all single application server service certificates okay now uh, i'm just before assigning that i had to make sure all other things are stopped otherwise see here are the same things i was using for earlier purpose i'm just stopping it um, this is another one yeah let me stop it everything is stopped only central admin and this uh, these two are the basic ones leave it i am going to use this sp site one so under which bindings i am assigning go here uh, we can add http binding also but as we are exposing this site you are out of the machines out of the local thing so we are adding https itself nothing else here there are two certificates you can give the names and all those things probably uh, i'll just i'm just using default one so i'm just saying okay okay and then immediate to this say restart because once we assign a certificate it takes some time for to refresh and then the same url just a moment <coughs> sorry yeah you can see earlier i was it when i was writing the same url it was saying not found kind of but now it is referring the reason is earlier certificate was missing even though if it is invalid certificate it could say something but it was saying nothing certificate but still ssl layer so now i added this so i had to pass the windows credential whatever i was expecting earlier so i'm just passing that credential as I was telling, this is just a web application, no site. So it will not have any URL. So it just says, yes, you are validated. 200 response. Okay, now coming back to the application again. So this is the application. You have to switch back to the application management again. So for any SharePoint, as I was telling, so not here. When any web application, SharePoint, we are in the on-premise, central admin is for configuring all these web applications it's end to point kind of a manager kind of so here we created site one application oh, sorry uh, yeah. this web application one under which we have to create sites uh, yeah here uh, yeah i was telling web applications these are the ones under which these are the site collections okay service applications is a some different portion currently we are not in scope of it and database same thing so this is the main basic pillars of sharepoint on premise so now i'm just going through to see which are the uh, uh, where to first correctly our site is uh, one moment sp site one actually the name is a little confusing let me rename it where is the rename Uh, yeah, one more important fact, SharePoint twice rename doesn't work in all the place properly. Even uh, here the name, whatever I had given, it's only convention. But all other things, if we rename it, it won't be reflected easily. I'll just show those stamps. This. 
yeah the renaming is little tds <laughs> yeah uh, as i was telling uh, it takes little time to rename so through the share point of web ur applications we can't do that so for that we have to follow some little steps so that is here we can see i just mentioned first we have to get the current web applications name using this name for example sp site 11 and then web name dot name we should give the proper name whatever we expect web application one and then update okay so just to show you it is sp site one one for example right now so and just to test what is the name currently we have to run this yeah now it's everything is empty i'm just fetching all the application names currently sp site 11 is the one hours new to new one or something else leave about those so sp site 11 i had to copy here to my script sp site one since it's a wrong step so this is alternative there is no front end application currently in the sharepoint so i just made it like this so i'm just copying it and uh, this one yeah i forgot to mention we should open sharepoint management shell only this is the one you have to run this run as administrator if you are running this with normal powershell mode it won't because at that place only sharepoint data will be taken as a first priority otherwise we have to remap all those things so if you want to, this is something old i'm just closing it so this is the one sharepoint management shell as i was telling let me take up one moment it is not copied yes i did sp site 11 is the one i already pasted here i'm just copying these three commands here nothing i'm just taking what is our web name existing one and then that name i'm just making an modification and then recalling the update okay i'm just doing that it has to be sequential order in a single shot and then if i go here it has to be yes it is sp web application one so this is the one now as i was telling uh, so we are here web application one i just made it sp as a prefix under which we have to create the sites so for that um, yeah first our site means it is under site collections so for that we have to go with create site collections and here we have to be cautious which web application so we are having multiple new one new two sharepoint central blah, all those things so currently we are choosing this sp uh, you can see here 49128 it was there but it's we should verify it because using because it shows the original absolute url so we are not sure that is the case or not so we did this and then i should mention the name we can say sp site 11 whatever the name and here if we leave at this point if in this web application only one site then we can leave like this but usually if we go with multiple sites we should go like this uh, here uh, we should give the name sp site 11 all those things uh, this this usually it's a case insensitive whatever you give it takes lower lower case upper case it doesn't matter you can give here the name web application whatever site 11 so minimum standard that's it. it it takes space everything it's just like a heading yeah all those things and here again here there are two types of sites uh yeah i'll come to the site type and uh, it expects a one username primary site administrator i'll come to the site type so before that we should make one primary administrator so for that the best option is you can type here and then make it correction auto correction validation like here but better to go here using the browse and here make it oddly power user for example in my case i'm just making just type it and then 
will find it it will just find it so it just make sure of it because without this it will not allow you to complete it. and then if any data quota or any site type of quota all those things everything will be under this okay yeah if you say okay it will just create but here the select template this template makes a sense so we can have this team site as a by default we can go with uh, enterprise level uh, document center uh, is the one type where document type of data exist okay so currently if i say okay whatever we choose that type will be created so right now i'm just going with a team site means if you create team site i'll just show you how it gets created yeah it creates like this uh sorry i i just stopped it because you might remember i just stopped this in the ias all those things that is the reason because i don't have much certificates for that reason i all stopped all those things this also all testing things so here it comes like this but i'm just uh, as a trial scenario i'm just going with uh on sack not this yeah i'm going with this particular one document center okay the name i gave sp web application site 11 all those things you can say 1.1 .1, all those things. but in this url avoid those dot uh, all those things okay uh, so the url now is it will be this 49128/site/sp site 11 if i'm as I, again i'm confirming if you go with this route then your url will be up to this only this itself is a site url okay the difference is please note down so better to use this site like this itself because it makes very proper clear separation so i'm clear creating like this and i'm just saying okay if any validation error it used to show and we should make an uh, uh, always we should keep an eye on our event viewers sometimes sharepoint on premise it makes storage issue or any other uh, permission level issue all those things used to occur so because of that reason you have to keep it uh, keep checking event viewers okay this usually takes again one minute kind of <coughs> yeah it says the new sites was created successfully with the application url all those things it says this okay now let me copy the url i'm trying to make it practical with real time facing issues yeah you can see yeah this is the site so you can see here https all the sites everything came and let me come back to here i'm just refreshing the ia sites sp site 1 yeah this is the one it came if i'm going to click browse here it says i need to reopen this because it is not having certificate all those things yeah i wanted to show this the point is it's at web application level it's not at uh, site level so we should add the what is that sites all those things prefix uh those things yeah you can see here it is and wherever we are accessing sharepoint we have to be make sure uh, even though it could be multiple times uh, whether especially when the connectors or any other services are consuming the sharepoint we should log in at that instance sometimes if the session gets extended expired then services will fail due to the reasons uh, the files is not accessible or sharepoint is not accessible for an error kind of okay now before coming to our uh, hardlib configuration all those things i'll just show you the simple configuration uh, so how to upload document i'm just taking one simple document so here i'm just uploading a document uh, some simple document i'm just uploading so i'm just saying okay i just uploaded this is a document type of site document center so that is the reason so it comes in the root level itself uh, if you are having a team site as i was telling earlier one 
so in that it will be little different in the ui i'll just show that also but everything is conceptually same uh, i mean back end everything is same this is only for the sake of user easiness Yeah, the file upload since we are in the on premise everything the file upload speed everything takes time less time or more time it depends upon the wherever you are running the system and wherever the shared part is installed so only in between those connections okay yeah meanwhile it is running i should show one more important thing uh, we are having sharepoint central admin right let me show this I'm just trying to maybe get to the central admin page. So the na proper naming is the main key for uh, easiness. Yeah, it is something uploaded here. Where, what type of it is document? All those things it asks. Okay, uh, link to a document. All those things it, because this is the main type itself is its document center. Uh, so it is like a check-in. So it tries to keep track of all the data whenever you are monitoring all those things. I just uploaded it says which is a recent document and which is modified me just like that okay yeah before that uh yeah you know, yeah i should show one moment this is under https but my main site is running under http itself i'm not running the reason for this is as a security purpose we should not allow outsiders to access the main site url central administration url this is the main security concern and uh, properly maintaining uh, plan also if you enable this url outside then it leads so probably if you say this url it is not accessible by outside usually because it is not having any absolute url so but this has uh, we can see here 49128 this is also same like that if i'm trying to access this outside it will not work properly okay yeah just to show up that i'm in a the main computer is 2019 dev that computer itself i'm trying to access this outside in just this is in under the same network this is vm0015 it's uh, adlib dev cloud okay i'm just accessing it in different computer it says sorry this site has not been shared with you this kind of issue comes not issue it's just a one of the configuration type okay yeah now coming back to the main central admin so totally we got up to we came up to how to create the site https all those things with who is the admin which are the uh, permissions all those things so we can add more configurations to sharepoint site uh, who all can access that that's in the configuration okay now coming back to this manage web applications so again here it here it lists all the applications which are in this application server when you are in this particular so for every server we should configure configure alternate access mappings otherwise it leads to uh, conflict and outside how it should be accessed or internally how it should be accessed all those things so just to make it clear here you can see many entries so leave about all those things if you wanted to take some specific one just take which one so uh, here configure alternate access mapping for it's a site okay so be cautious and use this properly i'm just choosing this it has like this okay so for this i'm just making it public url what should be the case okay i'm just making it like this just adding the uh, trying to make the absolute url 49128 okay in the intranet what should be the case custom all those things i'm just making it up https same security mode i'm just making it up i made yes. yeah once you made it i'm just accessing that url here okay uh yeah if i'm uh, so this is with the oh, what is that to sites so i'm just making it up to here this is a publication name i'm just appending this with the site url because as site is always necessary to browse okay 
So this is here. And now I'm just copying this URL as I'm telling this is outside accessible. So let me test it here. Yeah, this is in the VM0015. Earlier we were getting this. We already entered the credential, but then it said this. So let me paste it here. This URL. It says it's accessible. Okay. So I hope the flow is clear. <coughs> this is how we configure SharePoint application. Uh, web application and then sites okay so under which now coming back to the site uh, site content now i'm trying to modify it i'm in the vm 015 it's a different computer different vm still i'm just modifying it because under sites whatever i have control i will be uh, we can make the modification up to that so uh, site contents i can go here and then i will say new site uh, for example new new list sorry app subsite yeah we can go subsite again if you are going with subsite we should be proper uh, okay so now let me create one document library so something like uh, we can say inputs input files for example uh, if you didn't check this mark then it will not list in this left navigation if you don't want just untick this otherwise just skip it so i'm just saying input files create yeah it created here under which we can create folders new folder whatever the type type one okay and then just type two since it's a document type of sites this is all the things okay type two okay so now again coming back to the libraries the reason i'm telling you it's i'm just switching back you can see here uh, all the type what type of documents it is all those things okay now again i'm coming back to create the list oh, okay uh, sorry i'll just add one file here type one i'm just adding one file i can upload a file a simple file i can upload folder itself here we'll get more advanced options uh, something like this i can upload yeah it is done okay input files so this is about how to upload the files to the folders so or it's just like a physical folder you can upload here also okay and then uh, yeah one more important if you're creating a new file so if you're trying to add entry it will be at this place if you are inside this then if you are doing it then it will be under this we should be cautious on that okay and uh, so the namings are all those things okay here for example type one is there so the namings is new target site url sp site one one and then you can see here uh, in the address bar you can notice here the name is type 1 even though if you rename it will not be changed properly so always be cautious as i was telling earlier if you are creating something new you should create properly if you create something wrong don't go for it. don't take a chance to rename uh, un, uh, unless it is very much necessary then you have to go with many other commands otherwise just delete that and recreate it better otherwise use the name whatever you have earlier itself okay yeah and now click on the libraries because that is the main entry place uh, create the list okay here list is the main it's just like a list i'll just show you i will just make uh, okay monitored list list one for example okay, i'll just make it monitored list i'm just making whatever the description you want monitored for consuming files whatever you can okay here you make it so and here whatever the columns you can add a uh, single line of text file path all those things this is uh, what type of whether it's a mandatory uh, enforce unique columns if you wanted to make column validation and this should always contain some value then you should make this file path for example so i just made it so you can add whatever the columns and then if you wanted to make uh, any item entry for this you will just mention what type of it is and just to make one more option uh, if you wanted to make some default value for example new single line of text let's see 
what I can say um, job ID for example if you wanted to say click on more options require this and default value let's say like some 100 as a default value okay I'm done so when you say when you add a default value like this when you're saying new entry it, it, it takes by default that value okay so this is our title is for example f1 for example file path uh, something like whatever you are whatever your convention a slash b slash c dot txt for example okay if you have any attachments we can do otherwise it's just it just came here okay yeah this is a good configuring sharepoint web application uh, with a secure mode https and http with, say, if you re remove the HTTP, secure it's a sec uh, secure secure socket layer it will be http that's it okay yeah cool i'm just stopping this for other things i'll just record different video thank you